Those who were piously led into their Twilight Zone eyeball horror show live nine months with little and then not so little eyes in their uteri. What this meant long term was that a gnarly pet lived out in seemingly endless days with you and your beloveds. They didn't grow or mature other than forming cataracts after 40 or 50 years. They'd hum along, silent and staring for a regular human lifespan. Sitting in a box in your living room, blinking for decades, what we'd call mildly sentient. Long eyelashes matted together, unless you brush them with an extra large eye brush at least once a week. Which, by the way, also cost at least three times what a regular comb does. <laughs> the bootleg versions you could buy for cheap were just as good. But obstetricians always talk the big virtues of the official products and, you know, those poor ass souls with eyeballs for offspring lap that shit up. Hungry for something right and proper to be attached to the mess. Cleaning the crust that gathered at the lash line's flemmy edges every day was a very real kind of care. Someone had to do it, and no, there weren't usually ugly stepsisters there to do the work, but yes, sometimes there were, and they were inevitably exploited. Some families had two, three, even eight of these sightless suckers. Birth deformities didn't stop people from artificial insemination. The foster care systems nationwide were doing the best they ever had, placing teenage people in homes where the families would actually be very kind and generous, but also tell them that the one condition of being their beloved new family member rested upon these teenage people's ability to care for the shoulda never been born fucking eyeballs, and that's considered a healthy kindness. Eyeball abortions, eyeball abortion wasn't an option philosophically, economically, or logistically for many women. New stories would cycle in and out, women performing abortions on themselves or each other because one of the two clinics left in the country either couldn't admit them in time or were too far away to make an affordable journey of it. Ten women would be on the news in a week, dead from septic pussy syndrome, aka the whole planet Earth having had a worst case scenario makeover. Looky, ma, we're real life, hell on Earth. Consciousness raising groups were working hard to offer safe at home abortion tips for the masses, but you know, not everyone has access to their booklets, their flyers, their organized kind of doctors running sneakily through big city streets at 2 a.m., Jane 200.0. The thick gray air poisoned the appropriated medical tools as soon as they left their scratch plastic cases, which in turn poisoned your body and sometimes, despite our best latex gloved intentions, everything just went to shit, 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 and shit, and shit, and of course the news cycle ran those stories on a loop. Don't die, or your eye. <laughs> they paint themselves with mud in the afterlives of certain pondy ass plants, and they accomplish that with a whole lot of throwing. Stoop and pitch, stoop and pitch it, stoop, pitch. Hey, what you can't see can feel it falling, but again, you threw it, so you are it. As the weather was the one weather the weather. High five blind, cool killing it, all so casual in the wind. Carry on, confetti of Coleridge, Chris Whitley, Christopher Smart. Under they I glaze and praise, run and run all. I stoop to stipple in. The art of camouflage, anything but the metrics of absolution. Kid killed it, so wipe it fresh from the heart all upon him. And what did he learn from the body undone? That dead wet, the life in it, the heat unready to wane, the echo before shout, that whole throaty cradle to grave rhetoric thudding. Can't track you if you are not working on something hard. Same distant green browed open water, they're there, ringing silence, ringing with the W. The future is woven of such rack as this, as they covered up in it, hunker nestward. Their blood, the hunter's supple clay slow blood, their ladder snorts the checkered adder, bade the choke cherry obod. Oh, we taste of one another and swallow the urge to hum. There's one. Woo! Woo! Hey, yeah. for the next 17 minutes.
this. <laughs> Give it an hour! This is a real windbag of one, so uh, if you have a Let dog, you should appear. recline upon it at this time. <laughs>